Hey, hi, good morning. Thanks for coming and joining me today. Um, we're going to be talking about um, what you'll be needing to join me with the tutorial that's coming up. We are having so much fun doing that tutorial and I can't wait to have fun with you. I'm going to show you how to do a painting like this one. And um, I want to uh, just welcome you to my art studio. Here's some of my art that I've done um, in the past. And I just love doing art and I love nature. I do landscaping with oil paints. I do the landscapes with oil paints. And um, I just love traveling and doing paintings of what I see. I love um, the creation that has been put in place here by God and I just my heart and soul goes into my paintings. So um, I'm really going to enjoy spending this time with you and working on a painting with you. Uh, the first thing you're going to be needing is your easel and uh, you want a good sturdy easel. You want one that is going to uh, securely hold your canvas in place. You don't want your canvas to be flopping out of your easel, slipping down, or uh, doing any funny business that you're not going to be ready for. Um, I, in the past, I made the mistake of using easels that weren't secure, and you can, uh, a lot of good hard work can be wasted, <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, so that's the first thing. And then, um, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of painting. But uh, the, the next thing you'll be needing is a canvas. And the canvas is best 24 by 18 or any size you want. You're the creator and you get to choose whatever it is that you want in your creation. And so you can 16 by 20, 24 by 18, whatever you choose. It's better if it's double primed. And um, then you'll also be needing some liquid white, which is oil, white oil paint thinned down. You buy it already mixed and prepared with a thinner in it, and it's called liquid white, uh, thin white paint. And you use that as your first layer for the technique that we'll be doing. We're going to be doing a technique called a la prima. Alla Prima was developed in the 1600s and a couple of artists that used it was Leonardo da Vinci and Monet. Um, it is a technique that's done all at once. Alla Prima means all at once. And so uh, you start with layers of wet paint. You, you keep the paint wet, you don't let it dry. First layer would be the, the, in this case, you can use other colors too, but in this case, we're going to be using the white paint. So you're going to be uh, putting your first layer of wet paint, and then we're going to build the colors on top of that first layer. So many layers of wet paint, one on top of the other, called a la prima. Okay, uh, so that's the technique that we're going to be using. We're also going to go over the tools now. That you'll be needing so you can be prepared when uh, we get together again later for the tutorial okay so the first thing mm, this coffee is so good mm, there we go I love the mountains as you can see okay so the one of the, uh, one of the brushes we're gonna be needing is the two inch brush nice big two inch brush we're going to be needing the one inch brush. Okay. And it it's really good. If you have an old one inch brush, that's kind of really scruffy looking, that's going to be your best brush for what we're going to be doing. It's great for bushes when the brush is kind of old and scruffy looking like this one. That's what you really want. You can use a new one. It'll, it'll, you know, be okay if you know you got to spread the uh, bristles a bit when you put the paint in it. it. It'll work okay, but it just really looks good if you have an old one like this one. <laughs> okay, the the uh, other brush we're going to be using is my favorite, the fan brush, 
And uh, you could just do so many different creative things with this fan brush. And we're gonna be um, showing you what you can all do with the fan brush. And very important is your palette knife. You're gonna be needing our palette knife, okay? So those are the tools that you're gonna be needing. One more thing, you're gonna be needing a, a palette of some kind. I prefer, uh, there's, there's these sheets of paper palette that you can purchase online and um, they come 40 sheets. So that's about it, that those things are what you'll be needing. And we are just having so much fun doing this tutorial. My husband and I are working on it together. And um, we're just looking forward to having so much fun with you and doing this together. See you later.